Hey guys and welcome back to my pro goalkeeper tips and today I'm going to be covering a few questions that you guys asked in the last video and I just want to kind of go over a few things but first of all hopefully you guys are enjoying the recent content that I've been bringing you um, hopefully you've enjoyed the new career mode as well I'm decided to do a career mode as a goalkeeper so if you don't watch that if you're watching this just for some tips and I would recommend going to watch that as well because I do do like a inside the mind of Rixie and I kind of do a playthrough talking what I think at the time and what I should actually do and if I make a mistake then I kind of look back at it and see where I went wrong so hopefully you guys will enjoy that series as well anyway jumping straight into it you guys are gonna be watching some pro clubs um, footage in the background I was playing with my friend Kyle and we went 1-0 down because of a penalty I almost got my hands on it I'll actually show you guys that as well because um, I kind of want to show you guys even the goals I do let in but it's a bit unfortunate I couldn't really do anything about that but I did also do a lot of good saves this game and you guys will be watching that in the background today Anyway, the first question I have is from Bertie Gaming. Thanks for um, commenting on both my videos recently. I do appreciate that. I said, what way do I dive and how do I save things like that? Um, basically, um, what you want to do is make sure you're positioned the whole time, holding down that left bumper or L1, depending on what console you play on. Or for me, I play on PC, but I use control anyway, so that's still um, left bumper for me. And kind of with diving, you kind of just know by the way that the other player's got their body. So if it looks like he's going to shoot far post with his body, like positioning and his body language, then that's probably the way he's going to shoot. Um, it all depends, really. It can't, it, the best thing I can really say is by just jumping on some skill games, um, practicing against some of the AIs, and also do uh, some career mode as well. That's a good way to actually practice before you go into pro clubs. And basically just get a lot of experience. That's all I can really say for that. Um, it's, it's just one of those things that it's pretty much just getting experience for. Um, another question I've got is from iGamersHD saying, when I'm in goal, I never hold the L1, L2, L1, or the right analog stick um, I don't know why L2 but it works basically that's not really a question I can really answer it's kind of just like what you want to do and it's personal preference but I would recommend holding down the positioning button except for a few different situations which I'm going to cover in later episodes like pass across the faces from sweaty goals and stuff like that but basically just do what you feel comfortable for now um, sometimes it is better to manual position but sometimes it's not good to hold down the actual like positioning button but sometimes like I said do what you feel comfortable, and that's probably the best way to do. Um, Asteroids asks, how do you save top right, top left shots? Um, that's another thing. It's all about positioning. Um, with these sort of shots, sometimes I find it's better to um, kind of manually position. If you get that, if you get ahead of the shot by start to moving, like if you think they're going to shoot in a certain corner, sometimes it's better just to start running towards that corner, and then you better pull off the save a lot easier because sometimes the manual position or the the position that they give you isn't actually that great. Um, so I find that some shots is probably better to manually position yourself. Um, people don't tend to go for top corners as much as they did on FIFA 14. People tend to just finesse it low. Um, but if it does come to that situation, then it pretty much is just from experience as well. If you keep practicing and keep working on your positioning and your timing of how you save, then you should be absolutely fine. Just Dunny asked, are you allowed to try and dive early before a player has shot or should I wait until he's actually shot? And this is a question that I've actually been asked quite a lot, not just on my comments. Uh, but on Twitter and everything like that as well. Um, and basically my reply is, um, the best thing to do is wait for the red indicator circle. I did comment this to you um, on the comments on the last video as well. But if you're watching this as well, thank you for watching the video. But the best thing to do is wait for the red circle to uh, come around the other player. And that's what he's about to shoot. So get yourself ready for the shot. Don't dive too early because your guy will end up just like um, doing a body faint or a body flop. And it's pretty much just pointless. Um, but make sure you don't dive too late either. It's pretty much as soon as you see him got the red circle, get ready to save the ball because it probably will be coming your way very quickly. Another question I've got is from Bobby JT4, and he said, My question is regarding pulling your goalkeeper out of the box. Like if there's a through ball and I want to run out, how do I stop that? Every time I the, every time the try the keeper just seems to pass the ball, uh, run past the ball, is there a way to sl um, slide or position yourself better? This is a problem that I've kind of come across on FIFA 14 quite a lot. They had a lot of awful like, I mean, really bad, manually running out to kick the ball away, because you either ended up flopping on it, or you just seem to run past it. But the best thing to do is literally don't come out for too much stuff. If it's coming towards your box, get yourself ready to catch it or pick it up, because that's the easiest thing to do. But if you do find yourself having to run out, I would probably recommend using LB and Y, that's what I'd do, instead of using X. Because if you press X too early, you'll find that your guy probably just slides along the floor and <laughs> kind of flops. But if you do L, B, and Y, you, you can't really go wrong with that, basically. It's a through ball, I know, but it's probably the best thing to do. And for manual, manual like running out, just make sure you keep practicing your running out towards the ball. Get your teammates to play it back to you every once in a while. Keep yourself warmed up with the passing and also with running out. 
Um, that's pretty much the best thing I could really recommend for you. Uh, but hopefully that's that's every question covered. If you guys have got any more questions, if you want to see anything particular in the next episode, then just let me know in the comment section down below. Hopefully you guys have found this video interesting and useful, and hopefully it's helped you as well. Let me know how you guys are getting on with goalkeeping. If you have any questions, like I said, just comment down below, and I shall see you in the next one.